So here's a little bit more about proportions. Um, now sometimes you're going to get ratios written in this format here on the left hand side. Whenever you see something written like the one on the left hand side, I would always recommend that you turn it into a fraction before you do anything else. It's much easier to see um, the relationship between the numbers when it's written as a fraction. So right away you can see that 6 times 4 will give you 24. So to get x, you need to do 3 times 4, and you will get 12. Likewise, you're going to see here that 4 times 4 gives you 16. So 2 times 4 will give you 8. This one's a little bit different. So this one, you're actually going to be dividing by 5. And so remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so x is going to be 2. So those are a few more proportions. Now let's look at an application of proportions. So here's an example of a recipe to make a punch. You need three cups of orange juice and two cups of cranberry juice. So what would happen if she was making the punch and she used 12 cups of orange juice? How many cups of cranberry juice do you think she should use? Well, we could set up a proportion. Remember, to set up a proportion, we essentially have empty boxes that we need to fill in. Really important that you consider, is this a part-to-part -part ratio or a part-to-whole ratio? Because we're comparing juice and juice, this is going to be a part-to-part -part ratio. So we would say three cups orange juice and two cups cranberry juice. So remember, this was orange juice and this was cranberry juice. So where are we going to put the 12 cups of orange juice? So that's going to go on top because the orange juice is on top. And we're going to put X on the bottom. Then we can look at the numbers and we notice that 3 times 4 will give me 12. So 2 times 4 will give me 8. So you would need 8 cups of cranberry juice. Now what if we extended this problem? Now we're making 30 cups of punch. Same idea, we can set up a proportion and we want to fill in the missing boxes. But this time, we have to think part to part or part to whole. And this time, because it talks about punch, this is going to be a part to whole ratio. So if we look back at the top, that means the whole three, whoops, three orange juice, five cranberry juice, the whole will be five cups of punch in total. So when we set up a part to whole ratio, we either use 3 over 5 or 2 over 5. And it doesn't actually matter because we're going to be solving for both types of juice. So in this case, I'm going to solve for orange juice. This is punch on the bottom. So I have to put 30 on the bottom because that's where punch goes. And my x goes on top. Then again, I can see 5 times 6 got me 30. So, oh my goodness. 3 times 6 will get me 18. That's going to be orange juice. Now to get cranberry juice, I can set up another proportion and use 2 over 5, or I can just say 30 cups of punch minus 18 cups of orange juice will leave me with 12 cups of cranberry. And then I can say, therefore, she uses 18 cups of OJ, or orange juice, and... 12 cups of CJ or cranberry juice.